Hey guys, this is a quick demo to show the Arduino core working on Zephyr. This assumes that you have Zephyr installed in the recommended installation path as per the Zephyr docs. And sorry for the noise. Um, also, you need to make a few changes to the west.yaml inside the Zephyr repo on your computer. These changes have been described in the project's readme and it would be helpful if you went through that. So I'm quickly going to navigate into my Zephyr directory. Here are the changes that I've made to the west.yaml file. After doing these changes, you have to do a west update. What this does is it pulls the project from remote to your local machine inside modules live Arduino Zephyr API. So we run west update. This has pulled the project into the required path. Now let's navigate into the project. Now the next step as described in the documentation is that you have to link your Arduino core API inside cores slash Arduino. So let's quickly do that. In my case, the Arduino core API was already cloned inside the home slash projects directory. In your case, it may be different. It's entirely up to you. So once we link this, we can ls into core slash Arduino and we see API and under API we see all the headers that are part of that API. Now all that's left to do is to build and flash the project. So in order to build it, for demo purposes I'm going to do it on the Arduino Nano 33 DLE. You can refer to which boards are supported under the variants folder. Now the build command is as follows west build minus p is for pristine build minus b specifies the name of the board and you specify the path to the sample that you want to build hitting enter basically builds the sample for me and in order to flash it i have to do this command now this minus minus bosac specifies the path to bosac on your local system again this may differ according to where you have BOSAC installed on your system and BOSAC is a tool which is used specifically for these uh, Arduino Nano BLE33 boards uh, depending on which board you use the best flash command may differ right now I have the Nano33 connected I'm going to double press on the switch and it puts the board into download mode now I hit enter it flashes the firmware and voila I have LED blinking on my Arduino. I hope this demo helped you to get started with this project and I wish you good luck on running Arduino codes on your microcontrollers using Zephyr. That's all. Thank you.